What is it that teachers know that makes them special? Is it that they know how to care for kids? Well, no, parents and doctors do that too. Is it that they know their subject matter? Well, not really, lots of people know stuff. Is it that they can control large groups of children? Well, no, even the Wiggles can do that. Educational psychologist Lee Shulman asked the same question and he happened upon a novel way of describing the knowledge teachers develop over their careers. He called it pedagogical content knowledge, or PCK for short. Let's break it down. Teachers need to know their subject matter thoroughly. The old adage that a teacher only needs to be one lesson ahead of the kids is rubbish, says Shulman. Great teachers can answer complex questions about their topic and know enough about the domain to spot mistaken thinking when they see it in students or in resources. But this doesn't make a teacher. A physicist knows physics really well and could answer questions about his or her domain, but this doesn't mean they'd be a great teacher. We've all had that supreme expert lecturer who could put a statue to sleep. So, teachers need to be subject experts, and this is their content knowledge. Teachers also need to know how to teach. Pedagogical knowledge consists of theories and principles of teaching and learning, knowledge of learners and knowledge of principles of classroom behaviour and management. This knowledge usually transcends specific subject disciplines. So teachers also need to know how students learn and how best to facilitate that learning in a variety of situations. They also need to know how to manage a classroom. This general knowledge about teaching practice is called pedagogical knowledge. So, a great teacher has both pedagogical and content knowledge. But pedagogical content knowledge goes one step further. It's greater than the sum of its parts. A master teacher is an expert in the art of teaching particular subjects. This involves knowing super effective resources, metaphors, activities and sequences to facilitate learning for specific types of students. The great teacher knows that if a student has missed out on a prior chunk of learning, this must be addressed before the student can learn the topic at hand. This is called syntactic knowledge, or knowledge of how this bit of learning fits into the greater schema of knowledge in this topic. A great teacher does not use the same technique for every student on every day. That's because they have a well-developed understanding of the particular needs of their particular students. A great teacher knows the mistakes students are likely to make in their subject area before they make them. These are called the common misconceptions. Ask a Year 8 English teacher what grammatical mistakes are usually made by poor writers at the Year 8 level, and they'll not only be able to reel them off, but they'll tell you the best ways of addressing those to improve students' writing. Ask a history teacher what myths about World War II tend to prevent students from understanding that conflict, and they'll be able to tell you. They'll probably also point you to a great resource or explain an activity they've found effective in dispelling those myths. So, great teachers know how to teach. That's their PK. They know what to teach. Their CK. But more importantly, they know how to teach what they need to teach to the specific people who need to learn. And that is their pedagogical content knowledge. If teaching was just telling people what you know, it would be easy. But it's not. Pedagogical content knowledge is a very specialised expert kind of knowledge.